We now begin our seventh installment of our read-through of the book of Ezekiel. But before we begin, let us pray. Father God, we thank you for this chance to come again, once again, as brothers and sisters in Christ, that we can hear, listen to, know, and meditate in you and your word. Father, we thank you for your word, because we know that your word is truth, and ask that you bless this time to the meditation thereof. It's in these things we ask, and in Jesus Christ's holy name we pray. Amen. Ezekiel chapter 25 The word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, set your face against the Ammonites, and prophesy against them. Say to the Ammonites, Hear the word of the Lord God, thus says the Lord God. Because you said, Aha! Against my sanctuary when it was profaned, and against the land of Israel when it was desolate, and against the house of Judah when they went into captivity. Indeed, therefore, I will deliver you as a possession to the men of the east, and they shall set their encampments among you, and make their dwelling among you. They shall eat your fruit, and they shall drink your milk, and I will make Rahab a stable for camels, and Ammon a resting place for flocks. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. For thus says the Lord God, Because you clapped your hands, stamped your feet, and rejoiced in heart with all your disdain for the land of Israel, indeed, therefore, I will stretch out my hand against you and give you as plunder to the nations. I will cut off from the peoples, and I will cause you to perish from the countries. I will destroy you, and you shall know that I am the Lord." Thus says the Lord God, because Moab and Seir say, Look, the house of Judah is like all nations. Therefore, behold, I will clear the territory of Moab of cities, of the cities on its frontier, the glory of the country, Beth Jesimoth, Balmion, Kirjathium. To the men of the east I will give it as a possession, together with the Ammonites, that the Ammonites may be remembered among the nations. And I will execute judgments upon Moab, and they shall know that I am the Lord, thus says the Lord God, because of what Edom did against the house of Judah by taking vengeance, and has greatly offended by avenging itself on them. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, I will also stretch out my hand against Edom, cut off man and beast from it, and make it desolate from Timon. Dedan shall fall by the sword. I will lay my vengeance on Edom by the hand of my people Israel, that they may do in Edom according to my anger and according to my fury, and they shall know my vengeance, says the Lord God. Thus says the Lord God, Because the Philistinians dealt vengefully and took vengeance with a spiteful heart to destroy because of the old hatred, Therefore, thus says the Lord God, I will stretch out my hand against the Philistinians, and I will cut off the Carithiites and destroy the remnant of the sea coast. I will execute great vengeance on them with furious rebukes, and they shall know that I am the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon them. Ezekiel chapter 26 And it came to pass in the eleventh year, on the first day of the month, that the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, because Tyre has said against Jerusalem, Aha! She is broken, who was the gateway of the peoples. Now she is turned over to me. I shall be filled. She is laid waste. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, Behold, I am against you, O Tyre, and will cause many nations to come up against you, as the sea causes its waves to come up. And they shall destroy the walls of Tyre, and break down her towers. I will also scrape her dust from her, and make her like the top of a rock. It shall be a place for spreading nests in the midst of the sea. For I have spoken, says the Lord God. It shall become plunder for the nation. Also her daughter villages, which are in the fields, shall be slain by the sword. Then they shall know that I am the Lord." For thus says the Lord God, Behold, I will bring against Tyre from the north Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, king of kings, with horses, with chariots, and with horsemen, and an army with many people. He will slay with the sword your daughter villages in the fields. 
He will heap up a siege mound against you, build a wall against you, and raise a defense against you. He will direct his battering rams against your walls, and with his axes he will break down your towers. Because of the abundance of his horses, their dust will cover you. Your walls will shake at the noise of the horsemen, the wagons, and the chariots when he enters your gates, as men enter a city that has been breached. With the hooves of the horses, he will trample all in the streets. He will slay your people by the sword, and your strong pillars will fall to the ground. They will plunder your riches and break your merchandise. They will down your walls and destroy your peasant houses. They will lay your stones, your timber, and your soil in the midst of the water. I will put an end to the sound of your songs, and the sound of your harps shall be heard no more. I will make you like the top of a rock. You shall be a place for spreading nets, and you shall never be rebuilt. For I, the Lord, have spoken, says the Lord God. Thus says the Lord God to Tyre, Will the coastlands not shake at the sound of your fall when the wounded cry, when slaughter is made in the midst of you? Then all the princes of the sea will come down from their thrones, lay aside their robes, and take off their embroidered garments. They will clothe themselves with trembling. They will sit on the ground, tremble every moment, and be astonished at you. And they will take up a lamentation for you, and say to you, How you have perished, O one inhabited by seafaring men, O renowned city, who was strong at sea, she and her inhabitants will cause their terror to be on all her inhabitants. Now the coastland tremble on the day of your fall. Yes, the coastlands by the sea are troubled at your departure. For thus says the Lord God, When I make you a desolate city, like cities that are not inhabited, when I bring the deep upon you, the great waters cover you, then I will bring you down with those who descend into the pit, to the people of old, and I will make you dwell in the lowest part of the earth, in places desolate from antiquity, with those who go down to the pit, so that you may never be inhabited, and I shall establish glory in the land of the living. I will make you a terror, and you shall be no more. Though you are sought for, you will never be found again, says the Lord God. Ezekiel chapter 27 The word of the Lord came again to me, saying, Now, son of man, take up a lamentation for Tyre, and say to Tyre, You who are situated at the entrance of the sea, merchants of the peoples on many coastlands, thus says the Lord God, O Tyre, you have said, I am perfect in beauty. Your borders are in the midst of the seas. Your builders have perfected your beauty. They made all your planks of fir trees from Sinar. They took a cedar from Lebanon to make you a mast. Of oaks from Bashan they made your oars. The company of Asherites have inlaid your planks with ivory from the coast of Cyprus. Fine embroidered linen from Egypt was what you spread for your sail. Blue and purple from the coast of Elisha was what covered you. Inhabitants of Sidon and Arvad were your oarsmen. Your wise men, O Tyre, were in you. They became your pilots. Elders of Gabal and its wise men were in you to caulk your seams. All the ships of the sea and their oarsmen were in you to market your merchandise. Those from Persia, Lydia, and Libya were in your army as men of war. They hung shields and helmets in you. They gave splendor to you. Men of Arvad with your army were on your walls all around, and the men of Gamad were in your towers. They hung their shields on your walls all around. They made your beauty perfect. Tarshish was your merchant because of your many luxury goods. They gave you silver, iron, tin, and lead for your goods. Javan, Tubal, and Meshik were your traders. They bartered human lives and vessels of bronze for your merchandise. Those from the house of Togomar traded for your wares with horses, steeds, and mules. The men of Dedan were your traders. Many isles were the markets of your hand. They brought you ivory tusks and ebony as payment. Syria was your merchant because of the abundance of goods you made. They gave you for your wares emeralds, purple, embroidery, fine linen, corals, and rubies, 
Judah and the land of Israel were your traders. They traded for your merchandise, wheat of Mineth, millet, honey, oil, and balm. Damascus was your merchant because of the abundance of goods you made, because of your many luxury items, with the wine of Helbon and the white wool. Nan and Javan paid for your wares, traversing back and forth, wrought iron, cassia, and cane were among your merchandise. Dedan was your merchant in saddle clothes for riding. Arabia and all the princes of Kedar were your regular merchants. They traded with you in lambs, rams, and goats. The merchants of Sheba and Ramah were your merchants. They traded for your wares the choicest spices of all kinds of precious stones and gold. Haran, Kena, Eden, the merchants of Shibia, Assyria, and Kilmad were your merchants. These were your merchants in choice items, in purple clothes, in embroidered garments, in chests of multicolored apparel, and sturdy woven cords, which were in your marketplace. The ships of Tarshish were carriers of your merchandise. You were filled and very glorious in the midst of the seas. Your oarsmen brought you into many waters, but the east wind broke you in the midst of the seas. Your riches, wares, and merchandise, your mariners and pilots, your caulkers and merchandisers, all your men of war who are in you, and the entire company which is in your midst will fall into the midst of the seas on the day of your ruin. The common land will shake at the very sound of the cry of your pilots. All who handle the oar, the mariners, all the pilots of the sea will come down from their ships and stand on the shore. They will make their voices heard because of you. They will cry bitterly and cast dust on their heads. They will roll about in ashes. They will shave themselves completely bald because of you, gird themselves with sackcloth, and weep for you with bitterness of heart and bitter wailing. In their wailing for you, they will take up a lamentation and laminate for you. What city is like Tyre, destroyed in the midst of the sea? When your wares went out by sea, you satisfied many people. You enriched the kings of the earth with many luxury goods and your merchandise. But you are broken by the seas in the depths of the water. Your merchandise and the entire company will fall in your midst. All the inhabitants of the isles will be astonished at you. Their kings will be greatly afraid, and their countenance will be troubled. The merchants among the people will hiss at you. You will become a horror and be no more forever. Ezekiel chapter 28 The word of the Lord came to me again, saying, Son of man, say to the prince of Tyre, Thus says the Lord God, Because your heart is lifted up, and you say, I am a God, I sit in the seat of gods, in the midst of the seas, yet you are a man and not a God, though you set your heart as the heart of a God. Behold, you are wiser than Daniel, there is no secret that can be hidden from you. With your wisdom and your understanding, you have gained riches for yourself, and gathered gold and silver into your treasuries. By your great wisdom and trade, you have increased your riches, and your heart is lifted up because of your riches. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, because you have set your heart as the heart of a God, behold, therefore, I will bring strangers against you, the most terrible of the nations, and they shall draw their swords against the beauty of your wisdom, and defile your splendor. They shall throw you down into the pit, and you shall die the death of the slain in the midst of the seas. Will you still say before him who slays you, I am a god? But you shall be a man and not a god in the hand of him who slays you. You shall die the death of the uncircumcised by the hands of aliens. For I have spoken, says the Lord God. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, take up a lamentation for the king of Tyre, and say to him, Thus says the Lord God, You were the seal of perfection, full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. You are in Eden, the gardens of God. Every precious stone was your covering, the sardius, topaz, the diamond, beryl, onyx, and jasper, sapphire, turquoise, and emerald with gold. The worksmanship of your timbrels and pipes 
was prepared for you on the day you were created. You were the anointed cherub who covers. I established you. You are on the holy mountain of God. You walked back and forth in the midst of fiery stones. You were perfect in your ways from the day you were created till iniquity was found in you. By the abundance of your trading, you became filled with violence within, and you sinned. Therefore, I cast you as a profane thing out of the mountain of God, and I destroyed you, O covering cherub, from the midst of the fiery stones. Your heart was lifted up because of your beauty. You corrupted your wisdom for the sake of your splendor. I cast you to the ground. I laid you before kings that they might gaze at you. You defiled your sanctuaries by the multitudes of your iniquities, by the iniquity of your trading. Therefore I brought fire from your midst. It devoured you, and I turned you to ashes upon the earth in the sight of all who saw you. All who knew you among the people were astonished at you. You have become a horror and shall be no more forever. Then the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, set your face towards Sidon, and prophesy against her, and say, Thus says the Lord God, Behold, I am against you, O Sidon. I will be glorified in your midst, and they shall know that I am the Lord, when I execute judgments in her, and I am hollowed in her. For I will send pestilence upon her, and blood in her streets. The wounded shall be judged in her midst, by the sword against her on every side. Then they shall know that I am the Lord. And there shall no longer be a pricking briar, or a painful thorn for the house of Israel, from among all who are around her, who despise them. Then they shall know that I am the Lord God, thus says the Lord God. When I have gathered the house of Israel from the people among whom they are scattered, I am hallowed in them in the sight of the Gentiles, and they will dwell in their own land which I gave to my servant Jacob. And they will dwell safely there, build houses, and plant vineyards. Yes, they will dwell securely when I execute judgment on all those around them who despise them. Then they shall know that I am the Lord their God. Ezekiel Chapter 29 In the tenth year, in the tenth month, on the twelfth day of the month, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, set your face against Pharaoh king of Egypt, and prophesy against him, and against all Egypt. Speak and say, Thus says the Lord God, Behold, I am against you, O great Pharaoh king of Egypt, O great monster who lies in the midst of his rivers, who has said, My river is my own. I have made it for myself. But I will put hooks in your jaws and cause the fish of your rivers to stick to your scales. I will bring you up out of the midst of your rivers, and all the fish in your rivers will stick to your scales. I will leave you in the wilderness, you and all the fish of your rivers. You shall fall on the open field. You shall not be picked up or gathered. I have given you as food to the beasts of the field and to the birds of the heavens. Then all the inhabitants of Egypt shall know that I am the Lord, because they have been a staff of reed to the house of Israel. When they took hold of you with their hand, you broke and tore all their shoulders. When they leaned on you, you broke and made all their backs quiver. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, Surely I will bring a sword upon you, and cut off from you man and beast, and the land of Egypt shall become desolate and waste. Then they will know that I am the Lord, because he said, The river is mine, and I have made it. Indeed, therefore, I am against you and against your rivers, and I will make the land of Egypt utterly waste and desolate. From Megiddo, to seen from as far as the border of Ethiopia, neither foot of man shall pass through it, nor foot of beast shall pass through it, and it shall be uninhabited forty years. I will make the land of Egypt desolate in the midst of the countries that are desolate, and among the cities that are laid waste. Her cities shall be desolate forty years, and I will scatter the Egyptians among the nations and disperse them throughout the countries. Yet, thus says the Lord God, 
At the end of forty years, I will gather the Egyptians from the peoples among whom they were scattered. I will bring back the captives of Egypt and cause them to return to the land of Pathros, to the land of their origin, and there shall be a lowly kingdom. It shall be the lowliest of kingdoms. It shall never again exalt itself above the nations, for I will diminish them so that they will not rule over the nations any more. No longer shall it be the confidence of the house of Israel, but I will remind them of their iniquity when they return to follow them. Then they shall know that I am the Lord God. And it came to pass in the twenty-seventh year, in the first month, on the first day of the month, that the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, caused his army to labor strenuously against Tyre. Every head was made bald, and every shoulder rubbed raw, yet neither he nor his army received wages from Tyre, for the labor which they expended on it. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, Surely I will give the land of Egypt to Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon. He shall take away her wealth, carry off her spoil, and remove her pillage, and that will be the wages for his army. I have given him the land of Egypt for his labor, because they worked for me, says the Lord God. In that day I will cause the horn of the house of Israel to spring forth, and I will open your mouth to speak in their midst. Then they shall know that I am the Lord." Thank you for joining us on the seventh installment of our read-through of the book of Ezekiel. If you would like to hear more, please be sure that you like, share, favorite, and subscribe to our videos and channel. And please don't forget to pray for this channel as well. Your help is very much appreciated. All the music in this video was provided by Kevin McLeod of Incompetech.com and is titled Easy Lemon, 30 Seconds. Once again, thank you for joining us, and have a blessed day.